Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how one can modify the risk and issue data entry page. Based on my experience, most of the organizations work with risk and issues in a very customized way that calls for modifying the default risk and issue template that comes with the project site. To give you a quick example, I have a project site opened up right here. The way in which my organization works with risk and issues is slightly different and hence I will have to modify the risk and issue template. Let me go to risk. From the default template, I do not want category as a default column to appear. Maybe I don't work with category. So from the list tab, I will go to list settings, navigate to the view I was currently working on. In my case, that happens to be all items. And here I will uncheck category column. Fairly simple. You will notice immediately from the all items view, the category column disappears. However, the problem arises when I click on add a new item. To my surprise, category still appears here and the data entry person will have to put in category. That is not the most sleek way of customizing my risk form. So I do not want to modify just the view, but I also want to modify the data entry form. That is also fairly simple. It's actually a two step process. Step one being enable the content management type and step two being make the required changes to the list type. So let me demonstrate to you how that can be achieved. From the list tab in the ribbon, go back to list settings. There click on advanced settings. Under advanced settings, just enable allow management of content types. Remember, you can do this in the project site template such that it can be rolled over to all the project sites. Like I'm doing this particular setting for risk, the same setting has to be repeated for issues also. Let me just save this. Now on the list setting page, you will see content type as a new section, which has project site risk as a content type enabled. Click on this. Now you will see all the columns which appear on the data entry page. You can do multiple things here. One of which is enabling and disabling the availability of the column on the data entry page. Secondly, you can also change the order of the columns. So in this case, I want to get rid of a category. Click on category and choose the option hidden, which says it will not appear in the form. That's all there is to it. Also, if you would like to change the order of the columns on the data entry page, click on column order. And there you can set in the position from top to bottom of how you would want these columns to appear. Fairly simple, fairly easy, but it's an option which is hidden inside a particular setting. So that's how you can modify the risk form. Similarly, issue form can also be modified by enabling the manage content type. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions with regards to project server or SharePoint server, please feel free to write to me. Thank you.